Dr. Mena is uh, standing next to an image of the spine to explain to us a little bit more on uh, the area of the spine that causes the most back pain and why and what we can do about it. Dr. Mena? Yes, so basically this is the lower back. So this is the whole spine, this is the, around the hip area here. Uh, so we have the different uh, segments here in the lower back. So we have five. So we have the, the bones, which are these structures that we have here. Then in between the bones, we have this soft tissue structure here, which is called the disc. Uh, the disc itself is the number one cause of having back problems. So um, normally as we age, the disc starts becoming a little more weaker. They start losing some water content. So they become more prominent, more prevalent into developing symptoms. So that's the first thing that starts wearing off for the, for, for, for the, for the most part. Eventually down the road, then this joints, they start becoming a, a little more arthritic, which are called the sicopo fissile or the facet joints. They can become arthritic like the knee, like the shoulder, like the hip those joints can be another source of back problem. So the disc can slip out and there's a structure here that is it's not here in the monitor, but it's, it's coming out here, it's called a nerve. So those actually, they can compress, the, they can get compressed either between the disc or the, or the joint and they can shoot you the pain going down the leg. Although the pain is over here, you might feel the pain going down here in the, in the, in the, in the legs. Another source of back problems is basically the bone. So as we age, the bone, they can, they can, can compress uh, and develop fractures. So normally the bones become a little more brittle. That's what we call osteoporosis. Um, and the bone itself, just by a minor trauma or even sitting down spontaneously, it can collapse and you can develop an acute pain. So normally that will happen most of the time. We see that in practice in women over the age of 70. It's a little more common and uh, that can become a source of an acute back problem. Um, finally, none the least, we have this joint here called the sacroiliac joint. That's another source of a uh, of problem. Normally on those patients, when they're sitting or standing, uh, they, they're shifting their weight. It's kind of doing like the shasha there uh, or, the, or the salsa. And, uh, and then other, other sources, less common, basically here we call the tailbone or the coccyx region that can become inflamed and they can develop uh, coccyx pain or tailbone pain.